I'm appalled at what you said on that pod thing. It's disgusting. This is the After the Show podcast. It's where we get honest and real with yo ass. So sit back, relax, have a blast, because it's time for the After the Show podcast. Yeah, here we go. It is the Monday KBJ After the Show podcast. Went off of the lovely Easter weekend. Whew. It's cold in here. Yeah. Sorry, Kevin, but well, chilled more than a witch's tit up in here. Yeah, <laughs> you're the one that keeps dropping down the thermostat. Didn't touch it. Didn't touch it once today. Swear, Scout's honor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the temperature's always all over the place around here. It is, and too, I think they mess with it on the weekend. Yeah. So we yeah. come in here, and it's either it's menopause. It's either hot as hell. Or freezing cold. I wonder if anyone else has a job like that where they leave on Friday, come back on Monday, and everything is just different, switched yeah. and fucked, and it doesn't make any sense. Like feral cats are yeah, in here working. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, prob- probably not, because I imagine most offices, except for a cleaning crew, there's probably not many people that are around. At least not the level we have. That'd be amazing if the the cleaning crew came in here and they just partied their ass off when everyone left. That's why everything's all messed up. They all like rub the microphones on their buttholes. They get uh, hammered. They're, they're porking where Ralston sits. <laughs> You never know. That would be sad. I, mean, I would not be surprised. Yeah. Be Who knows anything. what I'm sitting in right now? Uh, That'd be hilarious. Hey, yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't think about it. Yeah. Uh, lovely weekend. Great weather. Very nice. Easter fun. Get to see some photos. Virginia had an eventful weekend. She got to meet Wayne Gretzky on Friday. Got a photo with him. A little video. Presentation yes. was nice. She got to mess with the golfers on her golf course with a bubble machine and her son Rocco. Got a Love video it. of that. You can check out. I saw you had a huge feast too, man. Like 80 did. people at that meal. It was really nice. Yeah, that was that was crazy. Where'd you guys have that? That was at my friend's restaurant, Aqua Grill in okay. Juno Beach. All right. Yeah, I, I I had a big family group, and it was like three different families that all wanted to do it together. So we had planned this like six months ago. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, we've been having this one on the books for a minute. Okay, so you knew it was going down. Yes. Okay. That's kind of cool. So you did uh, all that stuff. You also said you uh, binged Fool Me Once on Netflix. Have you seen this? No. It's British, and it's really good. Scripted? Yep. The beginning is good. It sucks you in. Uh Uh-huh. And then the middle is a little slow, but the end is fantastic. Fool Me Once. I think it's like seven episodes. Okay. There's a lot of good movies or, or shows out there, but there is sometimes, like you're saying, there's a little fat in there. There's certain movies that have zero fat. From beginning to end, it's kind of a perfect movie, but it's a rarity. It's a little fat in the middle, but it's okay because the end is so good that it wraps it up nice for you. And I don't know. I just really liked the characters. I liked the accents. Mm. I liked the scenery. It's like w- really wealthy British family and like there's all kinds of craziness and secrets and drama and people like trying to MF each other behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. Okay. I liked it. Yeah, that's uh sounds like a good little show to check out. I was watching that uh, Palm Royale and I'm I'm caught up and I, I think it's hit a spot where I think it'll pick up and get better. I think I'm episode four in something like that, my wife started watching. She's like, I don't like it. It's Apple TV, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's the one that is uh, set in Palm Beach in 1969. Great cast. Uh, but yeah, you know, it, it probably should have snagged you a little bit faster. Uh-oh. Yeah. I like the way it looks. Like I do, too. The colors, the glossiness, and I'll, just like mm. the style and the decor. I'm watching it for that reason, and I'm hoping that uh, Palm Royale picks up real quick. With where it is right now. And then it could be, you know, okay. There have been some shows that are a little bit of a slow build, and that might be kind of it. But, yeah, I think people that don't have a lot of patience, a la my wife, they're going to bounce quick. So, just a thought. 
Uh, let me see. One thing that uh, somebody reminded us we did not get to last week, forgot about it, got in here, and we did a raise your hand pool. But the one thing people really wanted to hear about was Virginia was the only one that had raised her hand um, who had farted during lovemaking. <laughs> Yeah. So hot. Yeah. I'm the only one that'll be honest. I've never farted during sex. Not once. To, now, my body and the girl's body has slapped together where it does make the body sound of a fart, and that's funny. But no, never fart. Honest. I, I tell you. <laughs> you know, I'm going to no reason to lie about that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You've only done it once? I mean, no, probably more than once. You are a funny <laughs> fucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you just have to think about the anatomy of it all. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You, uh, you're, you're being pushed around a bit. <laughs> yes. You stick something inside of you that moves things differently and see how, your canals that are right next to each other react. Is that is that why you kind of fear and are intimidated by 69? It's one of the issues that I think 69 could present. Uh, you're in the fart zone. <laughs> you don't you don't want to even take that chance. So that that fear alone, that fart fear, kind of takes you out of the 69 game. I mean, I've got really little to no interest in the 69 game. <laughs> Yeah, she's not here to play. I tell you what, the 69 move is definitely a low percentage move. I don't think everyone loves it like the bird. It's low percentage. And thank you again to the couples who do send me messages. AJ Bird, me and my husband, we we still 69. I'm like, all right, cool. Send a video. Now, some of the questions here, are we talking a fart or a queef? Because there is a difference. Oh, yeah, it's totally different. We know the difference. Come on. Okay, all right. Thought so. Yes. Um, Has it been with... uh, Multiple people or one person? I mean, I'm not tracking those numbers. I just I just know it's happened. The fact okay. that you don't even really have an answer tells me you've definitely farted with multiple partners. And sometimes you'll like fart and, and they won't notice, which is great. Yeah, kind of like when you fart in the studio and I, I don't hear you because you think my, I don't know. And you, I, you can see j making a weird face. Every time. <laughs> Whatever. I am such a fart ninja. You don't know like 60% of the time. Since Radio Station 1, I've always been onto your farting game. Whatever. I watch your face. No reaction. <laughs> Is that working. what you do? Do you do you fart and then just stare at bird? Well, yeah. I do have a very intimidating sniffer. You do. <laughs> I do. And there's been times when I've gotten away with it and you made no face whatsoever. You just kept going along, talking whatever, whatever stupid thing you were talking that, about. You didn't even notice. That might have been during COVID when I didn't have a sense of smell. Oh, that's true. Oh, uh, boy, you probably miss those days, don't you, Virginia? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of do, too. <laughs> <laughs> the one good thing about COVID. I hated not having taste buds. That was awful. But the, the smell, I was all right with. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me see here. We've got uh, a couple other things uh, going on. Over the weekend, we went out and uh, cleaned up our little stretch of highway for the first time. It's a military trail right between Lake Worth Road and Forest Hill. It's about 2.2 miles long, and we just kind of wanted to go out there and see what it was like. And I'm glad we did because, you know, we discovered some tools and utensils that we need to make it a better event where you can bring out all kbj nation and make it happen but it's simple you just basically walk up and down the road there on the sidewalk and pick up garbage and there is a lot to pick up yeah there is it mm-hmm. is definitely in need of some love oh yeah, yeah. and there's a lot there's, there's holes in the ground just be careful somebody yeah. fell in a hole and they're still salty about it yeah because yeah, it sprained my fucking ankle <laughs> see <laughs> it legit yeah, i am i'm a salty bitch about it <laughs> <laughs> I, but it, it wasn't even that big of a fall but it, you ever do that where you you can't believe how bad your ankle has been it doesn't rolled. take much yeah. it doesn't take, it doesn't take much. much at all to yeah. roll that ankle especially the older you get cowboy yeah. i've always had wooden ankles since i was a kid <laughs> I, I fucking led the league in, in sprained ankles pinocchio leg i had pinocchio ankles <laughs> Yeah, the fun thing is um, we might have to do a bingo card for all the crazy stuff you're going to find. Uh, here's kind of a running list. We found two matching socks that were 20 feet apart. Yeah, we kept them, too. I'm going to wash them. 
two dead squirrels that could have been a murder suicide pact. It was a horrific scene. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. It was sad because I love squirrels. Yeah. They're probably like top 10 favorite animals of all time. I do love a squirrel. And it's just sad when you see a dead one. Yeah, West like, Palm slash Lake Worth squirrels are a little bit different, a little bit tougher. I hope little, he lived a good life. A little bit more street. There was a vape pen, a marijuana pen, and a baggie that had been full of Coke before. It had residue in it. What was yeah. more shocking, the fact that we found a full bag of Coke or a full bag of shit? <laughs> Empty bag of Coke, full bag of shit. Okay, you're right. Yeah. The Oh, the bag of poo was full. It was. It, it, Denny's really did. We would get in the car, and I was trying to talk myself out of him being denied. I go, well, maybe that wasn't poop that I grabbed. He's like, oh, no, no, it was, def- it was definitely poop. Yeah, you, <laughs> you definitely picked up poop. Denny's like, looked at I was it. like, fuck. That was pretty gnarly. He couldn't even lie to me. There's also a full water bottle of urine. Yeah. 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 That, that was, was nice. Gnarly. That was. Yeah. It was gross out there. It yeah. needs love. Mm. So when we go out there and we really do it full gorilla, we only filled up one bag on Saturday. We could have filled up 20. Yeah, no doubt. And also, we didn't have the pickup sticks that I really, you know, we had just those Little gloves that Virginia brought out. <laughs> Those are food service gloves. Yeah, I feel Those like those are I, not meant for trash no, cleanup. No, I feel like I need a little bit more uh, <laughs> to really get in there and and do it. So we uh, realize we need the pickup sticks and buckets and all that stuff. So we'll get all that for the next time we go out. And I'm sure it'll be more fun when the nation comes out there. It won't be. Oh, it won't be as gross. Definitely. <laughs> Just watch your ankles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some emails that we got here. Jenny had said, you know, just a uh, thought when women were coming out with horror stories and lawsuits about Diddy, the narrative became she's after a money grab or she's doing it for attention. Uh, when you look at the heat and the current fast downfall of Diddy, it now involves men coming forward about sexual misconduct, grooming, and generally these same allegations as women. Do you feel that that's because it's men coming forward about abuse, that the allegations are now being taken more seriously? No, I don't. I think it's because we live in a different time now where if you got proof, I think I think people are trying to get proof, especially someone like a Diddy. They've been working on Diddy for a minute. Mm-hmm. And I think because the culture has changed as well. Yeah. Uh, he, he got away with a lot of stuff. A lot of people got away with a lot of stuff. And I think now people do believe what people are saying. Yeah, I, I agree. Times have changed. And the more stories that come out and the fact that that's the one thing that's standing out to me now. People are pointing out no one is defending Diddy. Nope. Where are his defenders, the people saying, my gosh, there's no way any of this happened? Not one person that I've heard so far has come out to defend him. Did you see he put an Easter post up of his little daughter named Love, and it's her and her little Easter dress? We see, Diddy. It is so, like, sugary sweet. It's like an Easter basket full of candy. Yeah, that's what he did all weekend. His twin teenage daughters, he took them uh, to the Top Golf in Miami Gardens, and then he was at uh, Pura Vida in Miami, just being a man of the people. And some guy made a video, and he's like, hey, and, you know, of course, Diddy's like, yeah, love, man. You know, he's trying to look like he's just a cool dude, like there's no way this would be possible. Like, look, the one thing about Diddy, he's a smart dude. He is a, he's a very good marketer. Uh, you know, that's why he got what he got. Oh, you don't get in that position, and you're you're, you're not an idiot. He yeah. knows what he's doing. Yeah. And, and then I think he just started to fall apart. I think that uh, he had that rise. I think he probably got a little too much into drugs and drinking and all this devious behavior and then thought he was invincible. As I was reading a little bit about, because, you know, I kind of remember vaguely what had gone on. But he had his own fragrance, and where it started to fall apart was really around 2009. He was on the complete ascent until then, and it was on Wall Street. They were going to be debuting his fragrance, and he didn't show up for the ringing of the bell. And you had like the CEO of Estee Lauder and a couple other big wigs there. And he's like, oh, sorry, I got caught in traffic. But I don't think they were too thrilled about it. And then he started blowing off some engagements, and things started to look bad. And then not long after that, Estee Lauder canceled the contract with him. And then Sean John went in 2016, and then his booze started to go away, like, in 2023. Ciroc. Yeah, I I don't know what he has left, honestly. I think pretty much everything is gone. And then Revolt TV, he just got out of that. 
And so I'm not even sure what Diddy has left. So he's grasping at straws. He's got love. He's got love. That's all he has. About all he's, got. <laughs> he's got that kid. Yeah. He's putting those kids all over Instagram. Look yeah. at my kids. Not it, my crime. You you could tell. I mean, just seeing his social, where he was on social media this weekend, it was a complete, obvious, trying to show you the human that is Diddy. I uh, got a question here from Denise. You want to know if uh, Virginia had posted the recipe for the peanut butter cups that your son Rocco had made? Oh, yeah. I need to take a picture of that. It's okay. from this cookbook. And I will take a picture of that today and post that on Instagram. Okay. It's not that hard. It was a very simple uh, recipe. You just, you know, you know, you you melt down the chocolate and then you just take regular peanut butter, but you spice it up. You add a little salt, a little extra sugar, a little butter. It's just, I mean, who doesn't love peanut butter with extra butter and extra sugar? If you can't do better, do butter. It's so good. Mm-hmm. Uh, you also had um, KBJ Nationer here saying, uh, yeah, Virginia is wrong. On March 7th, Virginia claimed that Orange Julius was nothing but eggnog and orange juice. She would have been right if she lived back in the 1920s. <laughs> Why does Orange Julius have egg? The original recipe, developed in the 1920s, contained raw egg whites to create a frothy texture. The recipe was updated in the 1980s for food safety reasons. Egg mm. whites stopped being used in the 80s. I'd love to have one right now. Gosh. I don't know. I read the recipe. It said it still had powdered egg in it. I don't know. Maybe powdered. But it's still egg. Yeah, you were making the claim that it was eggnog, and people took issue with that, and me being one of them. Well, if you take eggnog and add orange juice, it tastes like a fucking orange Julius. I can't have this argument again. I am going to jump through the window. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let me stand in the way. I'll open the blinds. I think I could go through that window. I think all of us could. It's a matter of time before somebody jumps. I just I fell back into that window before, and it, it kind of doesn't give the right way. It doesn't feel like it's hurricane safety. It doesn't. No, hurricane <laughs> bird can go through that window. <laughs> yeah, I think you'd be able to get through it. Oh, yeah. Hey, when they get our new studio finished, then you go through it on our way out. Don't go through it until we get our new studio. Agreed. But that last day, yo. Man, they show some things on social media. It, when I was a kid, there was a video series it's called Faces of Death. Yes. And there's something now, like, I don't know how I'm caught up in this. It's in my algorithm. But it's people, kind of their last thing. One of them was, like, this woman that was skydiving and her parachute didn't open uh, up. Uh, and you're, uh, I don't, those videos. Yeah. I, I can't. And the other one talking about the window was a guy that he was showing his buddies that his how solid his window was. And he's like, look, I can throw myself against it. And so he did. He did it again. Then the third time he did it, he went through the window. <gasps> oh, and he, he was died? like 40, yeah, he's like 40 stories up. Oh, damn. 40 stories. You got a lot of time to think on the way down. That is a good, what, five seconds of thought? Yeah, probably. I, yeah, just oh, unreal. Like, my what the gosh. heck is going on? You're probably, for the first two seconds, trying to figure out what's going on. and then You're like, I can't believe how dumb I am. Towards the end, the last second, going, fuck. Right. Please, somebody have a pop-up tent. And the other one that I saw, you ever seen that parkour? Is that what they call it? Parkour? Yes. The people who are doing the flips and all that stuff? It makes my butthole and balls feel so not secure. This dude was doing it on the edge of a building, and he parkoured right off the side. The, the oh. shot was him flipping in air, and he, you could see, dude, you're not landing on anything solid. Some of those videos I can't watch because— Well, you are, but— the, They're par- parkouring off, off of the, the skinniest rails on, on top of a building sometimes. I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Yeah, it's just it's crazy, and it just it comes up on my feed like so fast. I'm like, I don't want this. Like, how, why the hell is this getting? Why is this in my feed? I know. I got I got caught up in tsunami videos, and it was people on on the beach. I saw that. Yeah, thinking that everything's cool. Like, what, what's going on? Is that on? the one where they're just casually moving the chairs? Yeah. Yes. And then yeah. seconds later, minutes later, they're they're done, and then the guy tries to help this old couple and. As he goes to grab the old couple's hand, they just get swept away oh, into no. the. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's like, wow. I, I, I have that. Uh, the, I have two different kinds of videos. I have that, and then I'll show where somebody's rescued an animal, a wild animal, and they raise it, and there's nothing but love. Like, I go from 
I mean, what a roller coaster of emotions I'm going through here. Those can be tough, too, to watch. The ant, it shows you the, the horrible beginnings of a lamb yes. will be trapped in some right. wired fence on yeah. its neck. Yeah. Go, yeah. Oh, fuck, I can't watch this shit. <laughs> save the lamb. Yeah, just save the lamb. <laughs> <laughs> Got a question here from Daniel. Whatever happened with the house by Jaybird Street? You thought that maybe it was a brothel? Oh. That's the rumor. There's a couple rumors of uh, there's a... The motel that's right by my house. There's some unseedy stuff going on there. Or seedy. S- seedy. I'm, I'm going to say unsavory. Got my seediness. And then, yes, there is rumors of a house where a lot of people go in and out. A lot of women in and out. Mm. Wow. Okay. Attractive women. Uh, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> but who knows if it's true, though? And Veronica said, uh, my weekend job, I love it because I get to watch KVJ. Today, I fell down a weird rabbit hole of old KVJ videos, and I came across a bunch of Ann Ann and also V's pregnancy announcement, which is so sweet. Ricky Sinicki should be Rocco's name, by the way. <laughs> we all know that Ann Ann hated Kevin, but why? It is hilarious that every chance she gets, she shits on him. <laughs> Was it a bit, or did she go to the grave hating him? R.I.P., by the way. She went to the grave hating no. him. Oh, yeah. It was more just... I try to keep it alive because we knew it was funnier for the show. Yeah. Well, for once, Kevin was not the puppet master. Jay Bird was the puppet master, and he would tell Aunt Anne, you mm. know, all the crazy shit that Kevin was putting him up to. Yeah. And so he kind of warped the narrative and well, made it seem like Kevin was... Uh, you know, always making Jay Bird do this crazy stuff when really Jay Bird loves the crazy stuff. Oh, yeah, and that was the, uh, you know, my mom. <laughs> it goes back to with my mom, too. Kevin did do pranks with my mom. Yeah. And they did have face to face encounters before. So Aunt Anne knew about that. And she knew that Kevin was capable of anything. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It was there. The best was when we had her on, and she just ripped into our boss, Leo. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, because she was supposed to get the Lane Bryant deal. Yes. And it fell through. There there was, no, no, it was, it was the time Leo gave me an 86% for performance, and she was pissed. Oh, that's right, that's that's right, that's right, yes. (laughs) He gave you an 86 in your review. Yeah. Instead of 100. (laughs) I didn't like my review, and she didn't like the review, and it was pretty fucking funny because she, she she gave some really good audio. But I think we took it live, and Leo didn't know what to do. He was like, oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> he was in it. She hadn't even went in on him. The critiquer gets critiqued. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Suzanne uh, said, "Hey, I'm just curious. What did Jaybird wear to his job interview with the KVJ show? It was probably khaki pants, a mm-hmm. button-down polo, and a belt without a hat on. Yeah. I mean, not how I dress at all. I think it was uh, had like green and blue stripes on. I think it was a button-up shirt. Yeah, I, I definitely tried. I think it was khakis. Yeah. Yes, I definitely tried to. Uh, I guess I thought I was. Oh boy, if I only knew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, <laughs> talk about putting a false. <laughs> I mean, that's." Not how I dress at all. Ever. <laughs> Ever. The interview is just full of, chock full of lies. It was an interview chock full of lies. But we don't want that guy anyway. Yeah. We want you. Uh-huh. We don't want guy in a button up. No. No. Well, you guys are drinking. That guy. You were drinking because it was at Duffy's, and I didn't know if I was supposed to say I liked to drink. So I'm like, oh, I, I drink a little bit. And that's when drunky pants. I'm like, wow, with well, this crow. Yeah. <laughs> and you were, you were, you were fucked. Yeah. You were definitely drunk. Well, you weren't the first interview. I'd been there for a minute. I wasn't. I was, <laughs> you can't expect me to sit in Duffy's and not take advantage of the pitcher beers. I think I was yeah. seven out of ten at that point, and you were feeling it. Oh, yeah. I was loving it. Yeah, they just kept bringing those pictures that day. Remember that. Parading all these young guys in. Oh, what a terrible gig for me. Yeah. (laughs) I get to drink and talk to young guys. I I remember halfway through the contest of that, two of the guys in the contest said, dude, I don't want this, man. It's you. Take it. They were like, no, (laughs) this is just, this is too (laughs) insane. I can't do this shit. Yeah. (laughs) I can't have insanity to this level in my life. (laughs) They they really did. One guy goes, I don't want it, man. (laughs) I I, I I care about my image. (laughs) I don't want it. (laughs) This is no life. But everybody in that competition was awesome. They were. Those guys were were. incredible. We really had fun with them. Yeah, they're all all really good dudes. So Still talking. Mm -hmm. I still see several of them. Mm -hmm. Love them. Yep. 
Uh, today is uh, kind of a big day to pay attention to the Florida Supreme Court. I think by 4 p.m. they're supposed to have two rulings that uh, y'all might care about. One, definitely. They're going to be ruling today, I believe, on whether or not there's going to be a recreational marijuana measure on the Florida ballot in November. Wow. Will we get it? That's a big deal. It's a huge deal. Yeah, that really is. So, you know, how will that go? It'll be interesting to see how that takes up. And uh, also, they're going to be ruling on whether or not there's going to be a measure to protect abortion access up to the point of viability at 24 weeks on the ballot. I think that's what Florida had. And now they're at the 15 weeks. And they're also, I believe, going to be ruling on that, whether the current ban at 15 weeks is going to stand up or not. So a couple big uh, decisions that uh, some people might care about. I'm sure people are going to uh, <laughs> not fight, take it, <laughs> and yeah. compromise, listen to each other, totally. mm-hmm. hear what the other side has to say. Yep. Absolutely. That's just how America works, right? <laughs> well, that's, that's, one the, that's one of them topics for you. I mean, it, it, have fun with that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't get involved. Yeah. Going to be quite a year. It'll be quite a year. It's going to start heating up. Yeah, if yeah. you like fighting, boy, strap in. I, I really can, though. I can almost, you can tell there's an election coming up. Because mm. just the dickiness online <laughs> yeah. is just a little bit more dicky. think so, huh? Well, because yeah. everyone's fighting with what they think is right, and yeah. everyone thinks they're right. And... Yeah, I think it'll be interesting to see if it uh, goes to a whole new level of toxicity, or if there are people that are burnt out on the toxicity, and they might back off a bit. God. Gosh, I hope it backs off. I just don't yeah, know. It'd be After nice. The screaming and the yelling and the families that are fighting within the one family. Yeah. It's like, come on. Yeah, it's 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 pretty unreal. So uh, another thing, if you have AT and T, might be uh, paying attention. There was a data set found on the dark web that contains information like social security numbers. Oh, great. Yep. Uh, that was for about 7.6 million current AT&T account holders and 65.4 million former account holders. They were talking about not only Social Security numbers, but handy things like your email, mailing address, your phone number, and your birth dates. Oh, perfect. So somebody can go and steal your identity. It's probably <laughs> once a month we have an issue of uh, getting hacked and we have to turn off our credit cards. It's so annoying. Because it's, of course, the day that I have right gone up to the counter and I've gotten bold enough <laughs> to have about $150 worth of something. I'm like, here you go. And they're like, sorry, sir, your car doesn't work. Apparently it's fraud. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. It's right. the day when you're like almost out of gas and you right. can't fill your tank because yeah. your card's turned off. Yeah, I've told the queen, I'm like, what are we doing? We, we have to get another backup car. There's got to be something. <laughs> like, what is going on here? Because that is going to happen one of these days. It's go- it'll backfire you. It's going to backfire and it's going to fuck you yeah, if you and don't if, get it. And I get it. If, if I called somebody, be like, yeah, I can't. I, I ran out of gas. They'd be like, what happened? Be like, oh, my car was in. I, we don't have a backup now. Yeah, I get it. The other thing, too, I, I got screwed over so bad, and it didn't happen to all of my bills, but when, when my when my uh, my debit card that's tied to my bank card, that's tied to all of my bills, it expired, and I didn't realize that it, it expired, so it would just say I wasn't paying a bill because there was no card on record, oh. and I didn't realize that. So, late fees. Just, late yeah. fees, and just, yes, and it, it fucks everything up. Damn. So just make sure you're always looking at that expired. Yeah. It can sneak up on you. No doubt. And it's not always your birthday. It's, it's so confusing. <laughs> mm-hmm. AT&T has said it's already reset the passcodes of current users and will be communicating with account holders whose sensitive personal information was compromised. So if you do get... Uh, a notification from AT and T. I guess it wouldn't be fraud. I but how do think. you know? But you're right because <laughs> now I'm sure fraud fraudsters going to be like, "Hey, AT and T is going to be sending a lot of emails. Why don't we do one too? Click this link. We'll let you know if your account was hacked on the dark web. And then if you weren't already hacked, now you are. <laughs> it's frick. It really is. A, it's, what a mess all this is <laughs> anymore. It's just crazy, isn't it? Denny thinks there's going to be uh, internet too. 
Like I, I just, I, I, they're gonna have to hit reset and start a whole different thing because it's so messed up. It's yeah. it's it's so messed up, and there's so much going on. And there's gonna be when you go on there, you're gonna have to sign up for it. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to use internet too. There's no way you're not gonna be able to not have to use it. My yeah. brain is like not able to handle this conversation. Internet too. And then we're going to turn everything into a smart city where they can <laughs> recognize you from. Uh, it's, 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 it's going to get weird out there. It's going to get ridiculous. At least for people ridiculous. who grew up to where none of this stuff was around, and now it's around. It's a little weird mm-hmm. for some people. Some I, people it's some, weird. Some people are, ja- are jacked up about it. Yeah. Uh, there's other things, other moves that the uh, state of Florida is making. They are going to now... Let you buy humongous bottles of wine. Yay. Like, we need this, but apparently you're going to be able to get wine in containers that go as large as the equivalent of 20 bottles or almost four gallons. No. That's the most American thing I've heard. Do you walk in the party with that bitch? Like, what up? Yeah, I don't know how you even freaking pour this damn thing. Let me show you. They say it's going to be popular for some weddings and special celebrations. Yeah, we'll put it in a big uh, big thing like you ice down a keg, and it'll look awesome in pictures. Wow. Okay. That's you, a one thing going on. Do you ever do that jug of wine? It, it's got, the picture on the wine looks like Curly from Three Stooges. <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, you're talking about... Uh, it's a jug of wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that low-budget wine, or is that kind of classy? I think anytime there's a big, huge jug, I think it's low budget. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The only thing worse is the box. Do you know what I'm talking about, Kev? That jug? It's a- I think, uh, vaguely, I think I might. I think I might know what you're talking about. Back in the day, my parents, or everybody's parents, had those jugs. They did. Yeah, the jug was popular. Mm-hmm. But now, I think it's cheap, though. I think it's cheap now, yeah. Uh, there's another uh, bill going on here. That uh, could give the state of Florida regulatory control over food delivery apps like Uber Eats, DoorDash, and Grubhub. Oh, good. So they can't take advantage of you. Yeah, I guess the purposes are, one, it will make sure that the restaurants don't appear on a platform unless they want to be. Two, it makes sure that restaurants can't inflate or deflate costs. Three, it guarantees that bills will show itemized costs for customers to added fees and taxes, and four, it calls for more communication between the restaurant and the customer in case something goes wrong. That all sounds like good things, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Typically, I don't like more regulation, but all right. Somebody has to regulate these uh, delivery food services because they've gotten out of hand with the fees and the jacking up the prices. and They roped us in in the beginning, just like Uber and Lyft, mm-hmm. with decent pricing, and then now you go on there. I see some restaurants looking for like a six ninety nine, seven ninety nine delivery fee yeah. oh, on top of the tip and the service charge and the elevated food price. Yeah. I mean, I I like it. Cause I, I use it if if I'm drinking at the house and we're working on something. That's when we do Uber Eats. People go, well, why don't you just drive and get it? Okay, I, I got my buzz on. Yeah. yeah. But but it is good every once in a while for convenience, but you can't live, you can't live there. You do like paying $56 a pizza. I know, I know that about you. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> I did Uber Eats last night, <laughs> and it was shitty. Was it? Uh, is that what you're talking about your bad food was? Yeah, it was. What was it? What did you get? I, I, it was late, and my options were low. I, I did it from Wawa. Uh-huh. Delivery Wawa, and it just yeah. didn't hit. No. It didn't hit. Man. Just say it out loud. I Gas know. station pizza? <laughs> you better know it's good before. It, it wasn't pizza. It was subs, and then they, they fucked up the sub. They put oh. all kind of bull. It just yeah. like, oh, man. didn't work. And it wasn't cheap. Damn. I yeah. want this all oh, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. uh, All that's going to go into effect on January 1st. Tom. From Cruel Springs was listening to a KBJ episode from 2017. He said you were discussing with Denny's his rating of Uber drivers. He was giving them low scores for the oddest things, and it turned out it was bringing his Uber rider score down. Wow. Bird was upset because they couldn't get an Uber when it was Denny's trying to get it because of his low rider score. <laughs> but 
That is kind of a great trick if you're in a group and you don't want to pay for an Uber. Oh, yeah. Oh, they won't <laughs> like, accept oh, me. They won't accept me. My score's so low. Y'all got to get it. You're right. Now, Uber hates me. Sorry, guys. Can I, can I tag along? <laughs> so Tom was wondering if Denny still gives all drivers low scores or if he realized it was detrimental to him great and stopped question. doing it. Yeah. Denny's, what are you doing? Yeah. Denny's! Was he causing himself some problems there? You never take Uber, do you, Kev? Uh, I do. I, I have a little bit more. Um, prob- when I say more, probably I've taken two rides in the last year. But, um, yeah, it's something that, you know, I'll, I'll use as a resource if I need to get around. I use it every time I'm drinking and alone, which is a lot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like the s- saddest country song. Drinking and alone. Panda's like, nope, I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> drinking and alone. <laughs> so I've taken a lot less Ubers, so I don't think I've taken that many. There was a point where we were taking them all the time. Yeah. And in the, in that era, at yeah, first was I was- fun. Oh, it was. It was. We were, we were doing events. a lot of events too, and we were uh, drinking it, all of them. So, yeah. A lot of the ones we went to, I would get a good driver, good driver, and then, man, I just got the wave of the worst drivers possible. We were in that one that got in an accident. Yeah. There the was one the, guy that f- was farting and growling, like <laughs> making <laughs> uh, sounds as well, he's farting. The one oh. guy was like swiping through Tinder. He was an old guy just swiping through, and, and while right. he was driving, for one, you know how their phone's mounted on the dash? Yeah. So he's just doing that for everyone to see who he's selecting and not selecting. Whoa. It's pretty gross. The one dude that was eating his quarter pounder and looked back and part of his quarter pounder flew on my neck. <laughs> and then and then he was telling me he was getting married the next day. And he, gross. But he was kind of like not really feeling it. That and poor then, girl. They proceeded to Lucky park. Lady. His car in Denny's driveway. And he sat there and ate. And finished his McDonald's He sat meal. there and ate the rest of his meal. <laughs> For like 10 minutes. Yes. Really? Yes. And you're just looking out the window like, what is he doing? Go, we Dennis, were. What the fuck is this? I have a front-facing window where we work on music and stuff. And I go, he's still out there just eating. He just sat in my driveway and ate the rest of his and meal. He was he was eating. His mouth was open when he was eating. So when it flew on my neck, it just. Oh. <laughs> that is gnarly. It was so gross. What? It's so. If you, I would have seen that, I would have dared you to eat it. And the only part <laughs> or the quarter pounder that you could really smell was the raw onion. <laughs> <laughs> onion cheese. Your favorite part. It was shitty. Well, there's that lady getting her nails done while I was in the back seat. She had somebody sitting in the front seat passenger side doing her nails while she was driving. That so is multi. The smell was so strong. Oh yeah, it no. was making my and she wouldn't let me put the windows down because she didn't want to mess up her hair. Just the wind in the back seat would fly forward and it would push her hair forward. Oh my gosh! Well, yeah, then her hair gets stuck in the fingernail polish. It's I didn't want thing. it for her either. Yeah. Oh, I always love the one that goes on political rants unsolicited. Like, oh, please, please watch Ooh. the road. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever they're ranting about, you just have to agree with them. Yeah. Uh, oh, just, I always take their side. Yep, yeah, you're right, dude. So, do you guys strike up conversation with an Uber driver? Or do you just sit there in silence? I have a technique. I sit in, and I I can tell pretty quickly if they are going to be friendly or not. And I will say, hey, how's it going? I'll initiate the, and when they don't really answer you back, and you ask them how they're doing, and they're very cold and one, yeah, that's when you know they might want to murder me. No (laughs) gun. Yeah. I find the best thing you can do right when you get in is, like, thank them. Yeah. Oh, and, hey. And just I'm, say, hey, thank you so much for picking me up. I really appreciate it. I do the same. Because it makes them feel like, oh, I'm appreciated. Okay. And you set the tone, Bird. And then there's sometimes where they talk and they won't let you get out of the car. Like, I'm at my house. And I've had that That's, too, where oh, I am, wow. I'm so sorry about your divorce. I really hope you get the kids. Yes, I, hope, I have just, to piss. <laughs> <laughs> let wow. me know how it goes. I'll be really like hanging on. There was a guy, he would not let me go. Yeah. <laughs> So I had a guy working on an album, and he was playing his album for me while we were riding. Oh, was it good? It was good. I'm not going to lie. It was good. <laughs> but so when we got to my house, he had just started one of his the tracks that he was really hyped on. So I had to listen to the whole song You're sitting in my driveway. No. Oh, you are not, not kidding. And then I had to give him a, you know, a, an honest critique about it. Oh. 
no, you always uh, lie. I did. Oh, I said it was awesome. <laughs> but I did have a, a fun time where the the Lyft driver knew how to play the guitar, and I had my guitar. I, I let him play it, and I I rapped with him, and that was kind of fun. That's fun. That was. So was he not, playing the guitar and driving? No, no, he parked at my house. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank goodness. I don't need that. But you can get anything in one of those cars. You just don't know what you're getting. Sometimes too, people get pissy if you bring something in the car that they don't they don't like. Even yeah. my backpack, a lot of times, would they go? What's they don't the like backpack? you bringing anything, yeah, at all. What you got in there, Dora? <laughs> Not everyone's a fan of bringing a guitar in there. Hmm. Not everyone's a fan of you bringing an open container, but I do. <laughs> I, I think me and Kevin did one Uber together. We both got shut down trying to bring a drink in. I've been into 19 with Virginia. Yeah, I think we did. Yeah. Every time, oh, come on in, yeah, sure, you can drink. <laughs> <laughs> no, I always sh- go, I promise I won't spill it. And then sometimes I accidentally spill it. I'm like, oh, oh yeah. shit. I'm trying to mop it up with my dress. Oh, that's the worst. <laughs> when they make a turn and clearly my book bag makes the loudest sound like something is like spilled. Spill, spill, like, spill, oh, spill, shit, spill. This spill, guy's going to fucking kill me. Was that a drink? No, no. No, no. And you're sopping it up with anything. It was not red Tahitian treat. <laughs> oh, my God. You spilled something red. Uh, just the other day, I poured a giant Kool-Aid, right? Red Kool-Aid. Baby grabbed the rim of it and poured the entire thing on himself. <gasps> oh, oh, man. I mean, all over my carpet. <laughs> oh, it ruined guy. everything. Did he cry? Uh-huh. No, he he was having a blast with it. I had to give him an immediate bath. I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. He loved it, huh? And then he ran through the wall. He just grabbed it and was... <laughs> we were talking one of those tumblers. It has to be 24 ounces, That's 30 amazing. ounces. I can only imagine what he... The first time a kid has Kool-Aid, it's, it's got to make you go insane. It's got so much sugar in it, yeah. You'd probably go, holy shit, this is amazing. This is awesome. I'll try the baby food because when you give it to him, you want to try it. It tastes like nothing. Right. It's oh, really? so... No flavor. No flavor. It's almost uh, got just a, a coochie hair hint of a flavor. Yeah. <laughs> is that how they describe it on the bottle? <laughs> I don't know why I went that route. Beach nut. Only a coochie hair of flavor. Just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. <laughs> just a cooch. <laughs> Anna said, I had an Uber driver who got my number, and she called me the next week asking me to help her with gas. I said, wrong number. <laughs> what? Oh, my. That's amazing. So the, he, was, he, was, he was macking on her, and that's how he tries Sounds to- Sounds like her. Said, I had an Uber driver who got my number, and she called the next week asking me to help her with Weird. gas. Yes, that's terrible. I got an Uber the other day. She could have been back on her, but who knows? I got a recommendation from somebody because they, I was at a place and they saw me. I was about to get an Uber. They said, oh, no, 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 don't do that. Call my guy. He's got this tricked out Tesla, and he just likes to do $20 rides. You just Venmo him 20 bucks, and he's cool. He don't care. Like, just 20 bucks. Tricked out Tesla. I was like, oh, that's fun. So he did it, and it worked. Oh, wow. So now I got his digits if y'all want. $20 Teslas. Get, put them on the air. No. <laughs> For you, I mean. Oh, okay. I don't want to put the guy on out. blast. Yeah, that's good to pass uh, along. I'm just kidding. In case he don't want that. Okay. All right. Well, some insightful stuff. Appreciate all the emails. You can always get them through to us. Mail at kvjshow.com. Enjoy your Monday. Back here tomorrow. Goodbye.